I'm told that at your mental institution, you advocate treatment for schizophrenics without any kind of medication. Kingsley Hall's not a mental institution. It's a small household of people in different states of mind, but we're all living together as people. Some people might think, oh, I would make a film about ID Lang which wasn't critical, that I would just be uh, wholly supportive. And I, I think what I have done is, is made it... Um, many layered and make him you know the complex character he is and I don't think I've really taken a side I mean things all I've tried to focus on is the fact that in the late 60s he tried to do something that no one else has ever done treat schizophrenic psychotic people with humanity with integrity integrity and try and listen to them and not necessarily go them electric shocks and fill them with uh, sedation. I've never taken drugs and I've had LSD send you mad. Why are you to live? We're friends, right? We're all together and we all look out for each other. I've been aware of Ardy Line since I saw a play called Mary Barnes, which is about uh, a, 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 a real uh, lady called Mary Barnes who was part of uh, Ardy Line's Kingsley Hall experiment. The story of Mary Barnes uh, the play uh, featured Ardy Lang, and, and I got sort of fascinated by this character way back then. Um, that was years ago, that was when I was at drama school. And, 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 and when I heard they were making a film about him, I thought, this is, this is a character I really want to, I'd really like to have a crack at, because there's something a bit unknowable about him. He was this uh, extraordinary uh, psychiatrist. He had these wonderful uh, new ideas. He wanted to break the mould about... Uh, the treatment of mental illness um, uh, and the treatment of patients specifically um, and yet at the same time he was clearly a complicated man he was he, his personal life was checkered he was a self-diagnosed alcoholic uh, uh, he was very troubled and yet uh, could be hugely compassionate and uh, and also became a sort of superstar you know he opened for the Grateful Dead and this was a this was a doctor uh, of of psychiatric medicine. It, it doesn't. It, there's there's all these elements about him that don't seem to coalesce. So that makes for a character that is fascinating. Maybe I wasn't that bad after all. I love you, honey. Do you love me? Love's a terrible burden to inflict on somebody. In terms of the cast, I'd like to say that they were all chosen brilliantly by me, but it's never the case. I mean, the case is always. You know, you, you need your lead actor in a film like this where I think David's on screen must be 85, 90% of the, the time, screen time. You know, that role is essential. But thereafter, it's people fall into place. I mean, you know, we approach various people and uh, Gabriel and Michael, uh, Gam Gabriel Byrne, Michael Gambon are available and they're interested. Gabriel had done a lot of research into schizophrenia. And then... Um, when we were looking for the uh, female interest uh, for the story, um, someone suggested Elizabeth Moss. And as a huge fan of Mad Men, uh, we leapt at the chance. Drop it! Ah! Your prison's a hospital. Maybe a cure, not a punishment. When you work so hard at kind of worming into somebody's brain, as it were, it's very hard not to feel hugely sympathetic. And I, I, I think I do. I feel, you know, I, I feel like he was brilliant and I feel like he was extraordinary. Um, but I can also, objectively, you can also see that he was difficult and he could be a bit of a bully and that, uh, and that his ideas, whilst extraordinary, were were also probably slightly flawed. And that, but then, isn't everyone, isn't that the human condition? Isn't, isn't that uh, what makes us all uh, uh, the patchwork of um, successes and failures that we are? I, I think it, his, I think his extremes were quite extreme, but that makes for a compelling, a compelling character. You can see why people fell in love with him, you can see why people were fascinated by him, and you can see why people were infuriated by him. Um, he, he clearly, he burned, you know, he burned for uh, his ideas. He was uh, an extraordinary man, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I find myself hugely fond of him. Um, I don't think he would thank me for that, though. <laughs> I'm so pleased we're in Glasgow for the for the premiere of the film because, uh, well, it's, it, it, it will, it'll be at the Glasgow Film Theatre. I went to drama school. We're sitting in this room just opposite my drama school, which is just over there. The Glasgow Film Theatre is just another block along. So this is my old manor. You know, they, we used to get 
cheap seats when we took our student matriculation card up to the GFT and I saw all sorts of things there and, and uh, uh, was introduced to filmmakers uh, there that I wouldn't have had a chance to see elsewhere and, and saw all manner of extraordinary movies and some terrible ones and some brilliant ones and uh, so it's a place that means a lot to me and, and uh, that, that uh, we get to premiere the film there is, is something that I'm really, really proud of. I've seen what families do to each other. I'm not putting my children through that. A coward walks away. A brave man walks away. 